Kathy, don't go too far. We've got to get back up the road. All right, Hot Rod. Put away your stopwatch the minute we have to eat. We'll be there in a couple of hours, won't we? Yeah, if we don't spend our time doodling around the countryside. Oh, come on, Jack. Get some fun out of the trip. Your vacation. My vacation? I had to figure to take it easier to get a lot of work done around the house. But you've only been home one day. After all, Peggy is my kid sister, you know. Doesn't happen every day. You've got two weeks, you know. Yeah. After what I see, I'm wondering how you'll get along when I go back to work. We forgot to bring something to cover the table. Oh, no, we didn't. At least I learned something yesterday. Got to be ready for these little emergencies. And to think I had everything so well planned. First, I was going to paint the garage. I had a good start on it, too. <laughs> That's right. Jack did have a good start. Except, well, what actually happened at the Downing residence yesterday was this. Morning, Miss Downing. Good morning. I see the mister is starting on the garage. Must be his vacation. <laughs> That's right. Well, he has a nice day for it. It is a beautiful day. A beautiful day. Kathy's sixth birthday. The cake coming along nicely. Party favors to be made. Everything to control. And then... Hello? Yes? Oh, the food demonstration for the new freezer. Yes? Today? Oh, well, I was counting on the meal. Well, today's not good for me. It's my daughter's sixth birthday, and we have so many... Well, that's the way it has to be. What time? 10.30. Well, that only gives me an hour to get the food together. Oh, I do want to start using it right away. Thanks having my bake this morning. Well, what will I need from the store? Yes. They want to do the freezer demonstration today. It wasn't supposed well, to be. I can't make it tomorrow, so I'll just have to take it. She's coming at 10.30. Would you finish the cake? Finish the cake? Just put the icing on. Oh, and watch Kathy and the baby while I go to the store. The Downing had saved for the new freezer so long, so religiously, by filling and refilling the old savings jar and... <laughs> Shopping in time. Now, uh, if Jack could just start on some party favors with Kathy in the dining room. Why, sure. No trick at all. Just watch Daddy, an old hand at parties. Anne wanted to get started right. She realized that all the benefits of a freezer depended on how well she used it. She needed the right kind of advice and she found it in the expert guidance of the home service representative from the local utility company. Now, the results you obtain to your freezer depend to a large extent on intelligent food purchases. You buy your food in season and when prices are at their lowest. And of equal importance are proper preparation and resin. Now, the techniques are simple with the right materials. She learned, for example, a convenient way to wrap ground beef patties is to place a sheet of transparent plastic, slightly larger than the patty, between each one. This makes them easy to separate, even after they've been frozen. Then wrap the whole stack in a generous-sized sheet of film. Pull the film tight to seal out as much air as possible. With this wrapping method, you can remove just the patties you need without defrosting the whole package. Although the saran film seals itself, it should also be sealed with labeled freezer tape if you plan to keep it more than a week or two. All foods should be dated before they go into the freezer. Unfortunately, things were not moving quite so efficiently in the dining room. Daddy seemed to have lost his touch as a designer of party favors. But he was far from stumped. 
Far from it. The home service representative showed Ann how to wrap any type of roast or a whole chicken or turkey. Just place it in the center of a generous sized sheet of film. Bring the edges together, pulling them tight. Next, turn them under, making about a one inch fold. And keep folding the film until it fits snugly against the surface of the meat. To close it up, pull one end over the meat and squeeze out as much air as possible before pulling up the other end. Molding the film to fit smoothly keeps air away from the surface of the meat and prevents freezer burn, the home economist explained. Anne also learned that steaks and other large flat cuts of meat can be wrapped by folding in the film one corner at a time, pulling it tight and smooth against the surface of the meat. Apply pressure on the film so it adheres to its for an airtight package. Cut up chicken is easy to wrap too. After wrapping the giblets separately, place all the pieces of chicken, including the wrapped giblets, in the center of the square of film. Try to arrange the pieces so they fit together snugly, giving you a nice compact grouping. Wrap the package as tightly as you can, sealing out as much air as possible. With a little care, you can get a neat, firm package. But Kathy's interest was slipping fast. These don't look like the decorations Mommy and me make. That did it. Daddy was about convinced that the only way to pass this crisis would be to get some nice decoration from the store. When Mrs. Hansen rang the bell, in more ways than one, Mrs. Hansen had promised to bring over something she'd made, especially for Kathy's party. To Jack, this was welcome news. And it was a complete surprise to Kathy. A sparkling ring of candies wrapped in bright, transparent plastic that Mrs. Hansen explained was a decorative birthday ring to fit around the cake and give special charm to the birthday table. No wonder all the children in the neighborhood call Mrs. Hansen grandma and love her so. Jack thanked Mrs. Hansen for going to so much trouble. But it was no trouble at all, Mrs. Hansen said. Just a few tricks with the same plastic film Anne uses so much around the house. A few tricks, huh? Jack had a sudden brainstorm. Why not a deal to have Mrs. Hansen show Kathy some tricks for party favors? Why, sure, a wonderful idea. Well, that deal brought Daddy's stock up again. It was the perfect way for Kathy to do something really creative for her own party. Far better than just using ready-made decorations. The supplies, in addition to the plastic film, were all things easily obtainable at a hobby shop or variety store. A spool of wire, florist tape, artificial leaves, ribbon, and colorful candy. Mrs. Hansen showed Kathy how to tear off a sheet of the film about six inches long and cut it to form six-inch squares, which are just right for most candy, she said, because the film should be at least two inches bigger than the candy. The wrap was fastened tightly with a twist of wire, then flattened and cut diagonally, not too close to the twist of wire. Then the wire was snipped off, leaving about six inches, and given a few more turns around the saran film. Next, the florist tape was wrapped around by turning the candy slowly. The tape was stretched tight and smooth and wrapped down far enough to cover the film. The result? A plastic wrapped candy flower and stem. When Jack asked if there was anything he could do, Mrs. Hansen sent him out to the kitchen to boil some water. How you doing? Wait till you see the stuff Kathy and I are making in there. Oh, Mrs. Hansen brought a real pretty thing for around the cake. Oh, wonderful. I have to thank her. Kathy and Mrs. Hansen went on wrapping, wiring, and taping until they had all the flowers they needed, three or four for each corsage. Mrs. Hansen took over for the next step, out in the kitchen. She dipped each flower quickly in boiling water 
she was careful to wet just the flower itself and not too much of the stem. And almost instantly, the hot bath made the saran film shrink, giving the candy a sparkling tight cover, and the colors became brighter than ever. After that, they just assembled the flowers into corsages. There are no special rules for that, Mrs. Hansen explained. Just use your own artistic touch, your own personal taste. You simply blend the flowers together with florist tape, adding artificial leaves. Boutonnieres can be made for little boys this way, too, by wrapping together the flowers without any trimming. A fancy ribbon bow gave the finishing touch all the appeal of a grown-up creation from the florist. And their candy corsages were ready for the party, thanks to transparent plastic and a little imagination. Well, now that the party favors were taken care of, it was time for the master of the house to check on the freezer demonstration. Boy, you should see the cute party favors we've made. You and Kathy made these? Oh, nothing to it. Is Mrs. Hansen still here? Uh, no, she just left. I see. Why don't you get back to your painting, dear? Okay, if uh, I'm sure you don't need my help with that freezer stuff over there. Anne was intrigued with the idea of freezing baked goods, because it doesn't take much longer to make a double recipe when you're baking anyway. A trick she learned in freezing cakes or cupcakes that have already been frosted was to put them in the freezer to harden before wrapping. That way, you can easily wrap them without messing the frosting. Not a bad idea either to wrap a few cupcakes individually and keep them in the freezer for lunch boxes or children's snacks. The rest can go in one package, ready for use at any time. Even butter can be wrapped for freezing in plastic film and discovered, letting you stock up when prices are low. And when you have a partly used carton of ice cream, Wrapping it in saran will keep it airtight, help prevent crystallizing and loss of texture and flavor. Do you have any questions? No, I don't think so. You've been so helpful. Well, I hope we've gotten you off to a good start with the new season. There's really no end to the saving and convenience and, well, the enjoyment of quality food when you know how to get the most out of your freezer. Meanwhile, out at the garage, the painting project was getting underway again. But the day's big event was Kathy's party. She blew them all out. No question about the success of this party. Really a satisfying birthday for Kathy and for her mother. What a shame Jack had to miss the party, working so hard on the garage. Jack? Jack? Half a door out of a whole garage. Hey, you know what? Harry Cameron's on his vacation, too. How about that? I was just over helping me fix his lawnmower. Anne was trying to decide what sort of meal might be most interesting to make out of all the food in the house, when the phone brought some really big news. Hello? Yes, this is she. Yes, put them on. Oh, hello, John. She did? At two this afternoon? Oh, wonderful. Isn't that fine? Oh, but it's two weeks early. Is everything all right? Oh, fine. But we'll drive down there. Yes, tomorrow. No, no, Jack's on vacation. Well, we'll leave early in the morning. We'll see you about noon. All right, John. Bye. Holy smoke, what was that all about? Peggy's had her baby, a girl. Fine, but uh, what was that about driving? You know, I have to do some laundry and iron and you think about packing and... Oh, gosh, what about dinner? Well, we can have a hamburger thing out back. Wonderful. You get it ready and I'll get the patties out.
An outdoor supper was fun for everyone. It was a family project, and for Anne, a fairly easy job, even though Jack liked to make a big production out of the whole thing. Nothing tastes quite like outdoor cooking. A few natural hazards for the finicky eaters, perhaps, but they're easily overcome by keeping the food protected. Anne has her own system when she prepares salads and other foods. At the last minute, just before taking them outside, she just covers them with clear plastic film. It's easy to remove and put back again to protect the food all through the meal. The foods are visible and attractive with extra appetite appeal. Even in the refrigerator, Anne uses plastic wrapping for foods such as melons to keep them from transferring flavors to other foods. And the custard, Kathy's favorite dessert, is covered to prevent a skim from forming on top. The food for the entire meal was taken right out to the patio, well protected. Anne could relax with the rest of the family instead of running in and out. Jack's idea was just right. And he got his share of the credit, and then some. Daddy, I think this is more fun than I think. I can do the best cook in the world. Well, I like that. Thank you, Kathy. I guess she knows who the cook in the family is. Well, that took care of supper. Now the ironing, and then the packing. What would she need to take for the baby on the trip? All the necessary items were gathered together for packing. Kathy had become a seasoned traveler in her six years, but one-year-old Tommy could still be upset by disrupted schedules, different surroundings, and by changes in water. And 34-year-old Jack could never seem to find the travel case for his shaving things, no matter how many trips they took. Yes, sure, I looked. You must have put it somewhere else. Now settle down, dear. I saw it there a couple of days ago. I tell you it isn't there. I looked. Well, just look again. Maybe you were in too much of a hurry. Oh, and dear, would you get me the box of Kathy's old clothes out of the storage closet? Oh, for Pete's sake. From experience in traveling with her youngsters, Anne had learned that she could minimize problems on the way with a little extra thought and a bit of special preparation. There'd have to be drinking water for the baby and some familiar toys to help him feel at home in a strange place. Hey, I found right there. How about that? In Anne's packing, some extra protection always goes around the baby needs before they go into the bag. For example, Tommy's eating equipment in transparent plastic film keeps it all together in one tight package ready to use, and it stays clean. Extra care taken with bottled oils prevents any damage from leaks, protects other things in the bag from stains and odors, and no white shoe polish stain on other clothes. Hey, where's my cap with the sunglasses that flip up and down? It's in the car. Oh, it's my golf cap. Oh, the other one's in your bottom dresser drawer. Well, now, I already looked in the... Okay, okay. Here's that box of Kathy's things. Many of Kathy's baby clothes would be perfect for Peggy's little girl. And all the best things had been kept just as fresh and clean as the day Anne packed them in Saran film. Say, look at Kathy's first little silver cup. Still as bright and shiny as ever. Yes, it was. More than nice enough for Anne to lend to her sister. Like pretty dresses, sweaters, blankets. All in perfect condition. Safe from moths and mildew. And now Anne felt she was all prepared for a pleasant trip. Just one more check to make sure she hadn't forgotten anything. Maybe something to wrap diapers or other wet garments. Like that roll of plastic film. It might come in handy in many ways. See, just like down at the office, it's a matter of thinking and planning. We do that as routine in our busy day. If you women would only... Yes, dear. I don't know what I would have done without you yesterday. Of course. After all, who would have... Painted the garage? Exactly. You finished almost the whole door. Huh? Yeah, then who would have... Made the party favor? <laughs> well, I didn't exactly... You did fry the hamburgers. Sure, not only that, but... <laughs> well, yesterday was a big day for me. Of course it was. I suppose it was just routine for you. It was a big day. You're wonderful. 
Hey, we'd better get going. I want to see that new niece of mine. 